YouTubers. Welcome to my how to use pre-seed to help try to conceive. Um, this video is strictly going to be a demonstration about how to use pre-seed effectively. And it is also going to be a little bit of better review. I will kind of give my, my personal insight on it at the end of it. So, um, but just know that my personal insight doesn't mean it will or won't work for you. It's just how it worked for me and how I feel about the product. So it may be completely different for you. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. And I will say that so that there isn't any confusion, I am currently pregnant. I am 19 weeks pregnant. So um, I did I did use pre-seed a couple cycles. So I do have some experience with it and I'm totally going to waste an application on you guys. <laughs> so let me see. Figured I'd have all this trying to conceive stuff and I want to help all my trying to conceivers out here. And um, for those who are lost, maybe you're just joining because you want to look at the pre seed tutorial and that's fine. But I did get pregnant after I reversed my tubal ligation after seven years. I had my tubes tied in 2007, had them untied in 2014. So, all right. So the two things you need for pre seed. Pre seed is best used um, when you're when you're obviously getting busy. <laughs> So um, the best, in my opinion, again, this is my opinion, how I used it was the best thing is all of us women know when things are getting hot and he heavy with the hubby, especially when you're trying to conceive and you know that you're ovulating. I mean, you're, everything's pretty planned in that area. So I would do it. I wouldn't use it right away. I would use it just shortly before intercourse would begin. So <clears throat> how that is, and there's different recommendations on it. And now I'm going to do the recommending recommended dose on this. You will see different, um, different, you have one, two, three, and four grams. And so the recommended dose is two grams. A lot of women say that, I mean, if you produce like natural lubrication on your own without any real issues, then one gram will probably be enough because what happens is if you use two grams and it's too much, <laughs> the best way to explain it is it's like a slip and slide and it's not it's not very sexy <laughs> so it, it can kind of make things a little bit difficult especially if you combine it using soft cups which can happen so it can get a little dicey with soft cups if you have too much lubrication so I'm but I'm gonna use the recommend recommended dose to show you um, best thing to do it now some like I had my husband do this for me because he's just better at that kind of stuff but I was I mean I did it a few times so I'm very much aware how to do it and the best thing is it screws on so you take this bottle and and make sure it's open I'm sure I mean this is I again this is just my personal one so um, so that's how you do it and everything's down and how it should be and you want to you want to then once it's screwed on and look I mean it is completely screwed on so you cannot go wrong and then you want to take it if you want just one gram you stop at one gram if you want to um, I'm not sure why anyone would want three or four um, but maybe I mean I mean I, I don't know I used two grams I did and sometimes it was okay sometimes it was a fell but I mean I did that so you just want to hold it firmly at two grams you want to and honestly like I haven't even squeezed like I haven't squeezed at all and it's already like completely there you want to unscrew and then you will see in here I mean you really can't see I guess you can kind of see bubbles but in here there is plenty of pre-seed so um, you then just you insert it into your vag vagina as far back as you can comfortably handle um, but you do want it as far as back as you can because the the purpose of pre-seed is it helps keep the swimmers it helps keep the sperm the semen and the wool swimmers in and helps them go to your cervix easier so you want it pretty close to your cervix so you want to take this and put it as far back as you can comfortably manage 
So you do that. That's all you have to do. Um, they come with applicators. So you don't have to worry about it being gross or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not... Sometimes I don't think things out. You know, this is my first tutorial. Please cut me a break. Okay. <laughs> I usually just do pregnancy vlogs and tubal reversal vlogs and stuff. Okay, sorry. Thankfully, my daughter's a little messy. <laughs> and so she is, you know, just junk and napkins laying everywhere. Okay, so that was that. Um, the applicators also, I have heard, and this was really cool, course I didn't know this when I was using progesterone but the applicators can also be used to insert progesterone supplements they evidently fit just right in especially the pink ones and that way you're making sure you're getting close to your cervix so that's definitely a good way to use them as well um, but let me see so that that's that um, I okay so now I'll talk about my personal my personal opinion on it um, I love pre seed they're just it's it's a great product it did not get me pregnant um, the cycle I got pregnant I didn't use anything really and because that's how it goes <laughs> but it is a great product I've heard great like success reviews about it um, so I mean as a trying to conceive method it definitely sounds like it's a wonderful thing um, but even aside from not being a trying to conceive method I'm keeping these <laughs> because I mean you don't it just real talk you know there are times that maybe you are experiencing vaginal dryness for one reason or the other it can definitely help even if it I mean it can just it can help with many different things so I think it's a great product just to use and um, it's not like I know a lot of people want to compare it to um, like astroglide and different lubrications and while um, because you can't use those because they evidently kill sperm so this is like a sperm friendly lube but I've used all of those before and it always like burned or like it just it left just um, just a, a it, it just was as like sticky this this really really um, replicas vaginal lubrication and I know this video is like TMI but seriously we're talking about inserting something into your vagina so I think we're all big girls here but yeah I mean it, it definitely is the best lube like I've ever used it is quite expensive I think it's like $20 or something like that so it is an expensive one but in my opinion it's definitely worth it um, I will I will continue to use it um, again I mean if if you especially like after birth and that's what I tell a lot of people even if you get pregnant and you have some leftover ones we all know that after we get birth the first time that we try to have intercourse with our partners that we are dry and it's just natural there's nothing embarrassing about it there's nothing you're doing wrong it's just it's just how it is and so this is a great method to just keep in use and all that good stuff so um, if you have any questions leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer them. Again, I'm not a shy person. I'm not going, you can ask me any question and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell it to you, Frank. <laughs> All right. Well, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.